creating a chamfered cylinder extended primitive. To do that, we're going to come up into our Create panel, go to our Geometry button, choose Extended Primitives. Down in our Object Type, we're going to choose Chamfer Cylinder. It's going to ask us to begin by picking and holding our left mouse button down, pulling out to create the radius, letting go, and then dragging up for the height. Once we get the height, I can pull inwards, and that will set then our uh, basic fillet. And I'll pick, and I come over here to my parameters. Uh, you can see I have a creation method. I can pick the center, which I did pick the center and pull out the radius. Or I can pick the edge, which is from the diameter to the diameter. Here I have the radius and the height, and then the fillet. I can adjust these at any time. And say I want the height to be say 41 right and the radius to be 16 let's just say the segments are a number of divisions or Tesla's these will be when they're in wireframe these will allow us to do some modifications later and you can see that it's got 12 on the sides so right now I end up with a chamfered cylinder uh, at this point and so I can turn the smooth off you can see at this point I get it with beveled edges around the edge when the smooth is turned off. Uh, when I have slice on and I slice it to say 90, I'm taking a quarter of it out. So slicing is when I'm taking a hunk of it out. And I could come in here and say it's 135. We want to open it up a little bit more here. Right? So a slice is so when I turn that off, I get the full cylinder. So the chamfered cylinder is uh, similar to a standard cylinder, but it allows us to have beveled or rounded edges.